from Elephant Butte Monticello Unit, March the 12th, 2024. We'll do a 360. This is my site right here. They're big sites, plenty spacious sites. But we'll go all the way around here. You get a 360. Let's see, what direction would that be? Let me think. Maybe east? <laughs> That's the lake in the bottom there. That's Elephant Butte Lake. It's about, I don't know, 30% full. It's up from the last year or two I was here. Come on around. Come on around. And this RV coming into the picture right now, this big fifth wheel, it doesn't have any windows. <laughs> I noticed that. There are no windows on the pop-outs. They're all in the rear. I walked around yesterday and checked it out. Me and my shadow. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 45 degrees now, I think, in that range, maybe a little cooler. But again, this is my spot. And uh, so let's go take a walk. Oh, the, the Starlink thing is on the other side. Does it work? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's what you call an enabler. It makes everything work. But you've got every kind of RV you can dream of. Look at there. There's a, a van in the far right there. And then a fifth wheel, a giant one. And then on the other side of that are two class, well, a B plus, a B, and then a guy pulling something. I think that's a... Uh, one of those things they make in Florida, one of those little ones. Uh, basically, it's a bed. <clears throat> There's a trash can down this way somewhere, I believe. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is nice. The only thing I got to get used to at campgrounds, there's no noise, no barking dogs, no nothing. I haven't heard a sound, man. Well, they got some windows on this slide out and in the rear but that's all wonder why that is because that's just the way it is that's all there's somebody with his hood open they're worried about mice people do that they think that helps keep the mice away well actually he's got a drip charge on his battery well bully bully the creosote is bigger here that big old bush that's a creosote bush And something I'll mention, I'm not far against it, but uh, the uh, drones. I, don't, I didn't think you were supposed to fly them in state parks, but they got them here. A couple of them anyway. Let's see if I can drop this in here. Done. You know, if you ever go camping, don't camp near the dumpster. It's not the odor. It's that sometimes people slam the lids. <laughs> yes. It, oh, back to the drones. Yeah, I don't know about that because I was outside yesterday and there was a couple of gals flying a drone from a distance. I could see them. And uh, anyway, I just thought, you know, that's kind of invasive. And they are a little noisy. So I, I don't have one. I don't plan to get one, but again, they do take good pictures, I'll admit that too. This is site number one right here, I think. Yeah, uh, they had plenty of room, and they all have water and electric, and they have a dump station. Yeah, this is site number one. It's not a bad site. The only downside of it is, is you get the traffic from the whole deal you know and uh, yeah we're going around you can see the whole park this morning we'll do the the whole park this is south monticello unit they have several different campgrounds at uh elephant butte new mexico elephant butte state park but anyway there's one of those toilets and uh you see those big black pipes methane gas comes out of there and it's, it doesn't have a horrible odor it's just different you know and uh, so if you camp next to that real close or close and the wind's blowing in the right direction you're going to get some real fragrance so another thing to be aware of and the third thing would be 
lights, street lights. Sometimes campgrounds have particularly RV parks, but not state parks, not here. I haven't seen one, but uh, outside lights that shine right in your window. That's just a regular old travel trailer there. How boring. This is number 50 right here if you want to know the numbers. So then you just go down. I guess this would be 49, blah, blah, blah. There's one over here on the right. Yeah, they're on both sides of the road. This is a big one here. This has got a big pull through. Most of them, well, I say that, I'd probably say over a third of them are pull throughs. I can't see what number this is. I don't see the number. Well, the one across from it is what? Uh, well, it's on a 49. But they had plenty of land to work with, and they, they used it pretty well. Sites are spaced good. Site number two is a good site. It's a good pull through. I've used it before. The one I've got now, it's okay. I forgot to check my time because I walk by time. Hang on. I got my phone in my hand. How am I going to do that? Well, we'll just walk till we fall down now. Beautiful views, guys, I'm telling you. And you can hear coyotes here at night. Then there's a tent camper down here. There's a class A. So we got them all, babe. That just about covers it, doesn't it? Yeah, here's a, this is a pull through, number 45. All the ones on the inside of the loop are pull throughs. The ones on the outside there's a few pull-throughs, but mainly back-ends. But the back-ends are big, huge sites. No wind. The wind will come up about 2 or 3 p.m. for a little while and then dies down at night. Maybe, oh, I can tell how long we've been walking by looking at the video. Huh, it's been eight minutes. Duh. We're kind of going into the sun, but probably working out all right. Another fifth wheel, another fifth wheel. And class B. Yeah, I don't mind living on the road like this at all. W once you get into the groove of the parks, you know what I mean? It's kind of a, it's okay. Most people are pretty quiet. That's a sanctuary four by four on a Mercedes chassis. This is the camp post. I think the park must provide that thing because it's been there for years. It's quail. Here they come. You'll be able to see them just a second. <laughs> you can't see them yet, can you? They're on the, right in that road there. <laughs> it's an interesting sound, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you gotta love wildlife. 
This is the restroom. They have showers and stuff. Picnic areas outside for day use. And uh, on and on we go. It's a nice park. This is a good, you know, South Mon this is South Monticello unit, Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico. And they have, I don't know how many different areas they have, several. I'm going to be leaving. I'll be here for six days and then I'm going to go to another one for eight days. Going right into the sun. But it, is it, well, we'll see. You can see the lake, the shine off the lake. Most of these campers are, you know, retired. Most of them are my, close to my age, believe it or not. I'm 78. And there's a lot, I've seen a lot of people come by my, not a lot, but a few that are pretty old. Gives them something to do. Better than sitting at home, stuck to the tube in a recliner. I just love the views, man. You know, the wide open views. Now here, you know, all you can see is the RVs and stuff. But I, there is a trail, and I'll go on it in a day or two, that goes way out in the boonies out here. And I'll go out there and we'll, I'll show you just wonderful for me here's a schoolie coming up on the left that's what they call them school it's a school bus they have a group called schoolies you gotta know that thing doesn't get but about if he gets six miles a gallon he probably screams out loud Yeah, I noticed when I crossed the Rio Grande River a couple of times that the river was up. So we got a schoolie, a little, what that, well, that's an old Toyota uh, Class C, and then a Class C beside it, and then a fifth wheel. And that guy's got his boat with him, so I guess they can get to the water from the boat launch. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you the campground. There are some camp campsites straight ahead that are close to the water, and you can walk down, I think, to the water's edge. At the next campground I go to, they actually have a little beach. I hope the sun hadn't destroyed this video, but it's, it's just pretty. Got some tent campers down here on the left. Yeah, this makes a little loop. You go down, it makes a little loop and comes out. And then there's the lake here. Well, we'll walk all the way back to my site and then I'll end the video. Cause all that, you just make a big loop when you come in here. You know, some people, the, the booking window for state parks in Texas and New Mexico is six months out. In other words, you can book a site six months in advance. Believe me. There are a lot of people that do that. They have their favorite sites and their favorite parks. And when that booking window opens, they're getting them.
Is that smart? Hell yeah. If you're going to be on the road full time, you might as well enjoy it. There's a big Class A fifth wheel. And then up here, you don't see many of those giant fit, giant motor homes. Well, one reason is they're expensive as hell. But another is, I don't think people make that choice anymore. You know, they, they like something, they like a little more flexibility. I think that's why, that's why Class B RVs are extremely popular. Me and my shadow walking down the avenue. Yeah, that big window gives them a nice view, doesn't it? They sit there and watch the sunrise. That's why they got that window uncovered. Smart. And then we have a Class B and a Class B and a Class A and a travel trailer. Not too many early birds are. It's about 8 o'clock right now. You'd think somebody would be up and at them, huh? I am. I am up and I am at them. I haven't seen too many, uh, I haven't seen too many starlings. I think I counted six. When I walked my first walk the other yesterday evening, evening or yesterday yesterday evening. Whoops. Pay attention, Rusty. Yeah, you can stay here two weeks at a time. This guy's got, looks like one, two, three, three or four dogs. And I don't see any of them on a leash. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they're moving around to this side underneath the RV. <laughs> Day. Well, they're not doing anything. Well, they went around the other side now. Oh, here we are. There, there's my RV right there. I'll end the video then. So, guys, from uh, Elephant Butte State Park, New Mexico, on a Tuesday morning, March the 12th, 2024, at about 8 a.m., thumbs up. Where's the old thumber at right there? Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you want to jack with it. Stretch, walk, stand guard, the door of your mind. And make life an adventure. Enjoy life your way. Why not? There's my home on the road. There's my drivable house. So guys, adios amigos. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Bye.